Hey guys, it's me! Lately, I've been going to a lot of makeup artists and it's been really fun to be honest. But more than that, it's been really educational. I've learned more about makeup in the past week than I have in my entire life. And I actually sometimes shook myself. That's obviously thanks to you guys. I mean, apart from the makeup artists, most of them have not been that great. And you guys have always been there to guide me and comment and tell me your opinions. So that really helped me enhance my knowledge. Become a real intellect. I'm an intellectual makeup art maker. Which kind of gave me an idea. I thought it would be really interesting if I actually went to a not so great makeup artist and if I compared my knowledge to their knowledge. For today's video, we're going to be learning at the worst reviewed makeup artist in my city. Yay! We're gonna go to an appointment I booked. We're gonna walk in there and ask for a small lesson, basically. No nothing more than two hours long for something that's pretty simple. I'm gonna ask for only half of my face to be done just so that I can prove that I actually just want to learn. I'm not actually going to go outside and, you know, hang out with that look, you know. But before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and comment down below your thoughts. Don't forget to let me know what you think at the end of the video. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye. See ya. <laughs> oh my god, voice over JD, she's back. Oh my god. No one really asked for this, but... To lose yourself. Um, okay, anyway. So we start off this little adventure by getting my face prepped up and ready. She gave me a cleansing. That was all before I got to see my makeup artist. The same makeup artist who will be teaching me how to do my makeup. Now, most of the reviews when it came to this place were that the makeup artist himself was a little egotistic. There was this one story about how a lady, she asked for something and she got something else. So I was, I was really excited to see where this video was gonna go there's like drama so she cleaned up my face she applied some creams i mean you know there you can't really go wrong with that i guess here we're ready to learn so the very first thing he did was that he put a towel around my shoulders i've seen this done to me before generally you're supposed to have an apron let me just quickly point out i wasn't expecting much from him i just wanted to see how far his knowledge could take me i mean was i better off just doing my own makeup at home or was this actually useful you know but anyway his setup was not done let me tell you that he continued to add some uh, several tissue and several things on me um And before I know it, my lashes are being rolled up by a spoon. <laughs> Why not just get an eyelash curler? <laughs> but let's not judge too early. Uh, a lot of you guys have actually said that spoons work better than eyelash curlers, but I guess that's just a DIY thing you could do at home. <laughs> not for someone actually paying to learn. Oh, and by the way, he doesn't actually explain how to do it, even though I asked him. He made it seem like it was his secret, and no one will ever know. <laughs> No way! Never! It's a special secret. Okay, whatever. Moving on. Oh, I don't know what that was. I think I was literally uh, tearing up, I think, from that process. So he whips out a hair dryer and he starts drying my eyes. But that's fine. I just don't get why the hand on my nose. That I don't get. Next up, he brings out his little makeup box. Well, it was not little at all, actually. It was pretty big. At this point, he was literally not saying anything and I walked into that place saying that I want to learn and I wanted just half of my face so I could be able to recreate the look on my other half so that he can check if I did a good job that's why I thought you know what I'll just start firing some questions <laughs> but before I get into that I just wanted to quickly brush off the hygiene <laughs> no pun intended <laughs> uh delete yourself <laughs> no but seriously though he had that tissue on me that was basically just like a little i don't know he would just lightly tap the brush onto the tissue and like tons of powder would fall onto it i mean it was obviously not clean before i doubt it was ever cleaned properly but like i said before i don't want to stress over that hygiene issue too much because i've already discussed this previously on my channel i think it's just so recurring at this point that it's just like you know i'm just gonna have to deal with it primer? <laughs> 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 
So at this point something really interesting happened. I asked him uh, what he was uh, actually applying because I couldn't see. I mean I figured out it would be primer. That's the first thing you put on the eyes. Uh, that's not the interesting part. The interesting part was that he would he called out a friend like by the reception. He's like, I need you to explain this in more detail for her. Like simplify what I'm about to say because she probably doesn't know what concealer is. And it got to a point where his colleague actually said, well I mean if she's... And he's like, yeah, yeah, but I just want you to stay around, like stick around. I don't know, I felt like it was a little rude. My makeup artist had a really big ego and you can kind of tell it later in the video. There's a lot more instances like that where he would literally start calling out the other makeup artists. But yeah, I was, I was just sitting there um, having the time of my life. <laughs> <laughs> he whips out another set of brushes and he starts wiping them again on the tissue. There were several points where he would be like... Starting to apply makeup or he wants to explain something and he'd whisper things like, I don't know if she's gonna understand, I mean, I don't know if this is too hard for you, I don't know if you're gonna get this, I mean, this technique is like very pro. <laughs> Voy a poner ya un color de base para sellar el primer en los ojos. Y... The other makeup artist was actually super sweet. He was trying his best to actually make me understand everything. He went out and got a mirror for me to watch every single step that's happening. I mean, it was a little hard considering I had to close. I don't know how people can close one eye at a time. How? I can't. It was super helpful, so that was that was great. But Yellow Shirt here was trying his best not to give away too many of his secrets, you know? I mean, makeup isn't really um, some secret recipe at like Krispy Kreme where you can't really give away your one successful thing that's keeping you different from others. Makeup is literally just a style and it depends on each single person but to him I feel it was like if I say anything to this girl she's gonna go and she's gonna steal my ideas and she's gonna yeah I don't know I, I don't know really regarding the makeup so far so good I didn't see anything wrong with what he was doing it was actually pretty good I mean I'm up until now um, he explained several things after that because I asked him about the brushes I asked him about the shadows the shades where to put what but the other makeup artist would butt in and he started explaining in depth which was something I really appreciated actually after that he was gonna go for a cut crease that's what he told me at uh, least Concealer cream, the eyes a uh, cut crease technique. Tu muriéndote de calor en Quito. Eso sí está de locos. I asked him how to do a cut crease, and he he didn't really give me a proper answer. He just said you apply concealer onto your eyes. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's more to it than just that. He then showed me the eyeshadow palette that he was gonna use. Yeah, that was it, really. He started applying some shades onto my lid. I had no idea what they were or what the color was. So yeah, I'll try to sneak a peek onto the mirror. He then whips out another contour kit or I don't know what it was. It was like a pack of concealers, I think. He knew it was a very uh, challenging thing coming up, you know. He couldn't explain it himself. He needed some help with that. And so he calls out his colleague and he starts explaining to me how, how to conceal basically like dark spots under your eyes. I mean, like, he was obviously like trying to show that he, he was too intellectual for this. So I just decided to go for it and ask him some more questions, which is why I asked him if I had red spots on my face like I'm sunburned you know what can I cover that with and I know that you need to apply like a green shade he said he said you had to apply orange so just under my waterline, right? No. If I put eyeliner under my eye.
señor Cristian. Don't move the eye, please. Señor Cristian. So I want you to put the eyeliner, like with my eye open. No. Señor Cristian, y que finalizamos este, aplicando iluminador en ciertas áreas del rostro para aportar mayor, eh, mayor eh, frescura al rostro, como más vida. Señor Cristian. Hola, amigos. En el rostro de los pensos, que se le pone más amplio el ojo para aportar más amplio. Hey, look at this. Um, sorry, burp. I asked him to teach me, basically. This is the video. He taught me. And God, <laughs> he was excited. Which is cute, I feel. But that still doesn't cover up his flaws, let's say. Remember, he's posing as a professional makeup artist. I paid for this look. I was completely honest with him. I just told him I want to be a professional makeup artist like you. And this is what I got. <laughs> I feel like this is something... I can do better than this, honestly. Definitely. And the liner is so wrong. The lips, I don't even want to talk about. Oh. Don't forget to let me know in the comments below what do you think. But yeah, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I love you guys. The most lopsided kiss ever. <laughs>